Preparation of bromine on a small scale. Attention! Inhaling bromine can cause life-threatening damage to the respiratory tract. It causes severe chemical burns on the skin and eyes and is toxic to aquatic life. Sulfuric acid is corrosive. Manganese dioxide is toxic if swallowed or inhaled. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. When working with bromine, a 5% solution of sodium thiosulfate in water should always be close by. The nitrile gloves which are worn only offer little protection and would have to be removed within seconds in the worst case. At first, 2.6 grams of manganese dioxide and 6 grams of sodium bromide are weighed out in a beaker and mixed by swirling. Then the mixture is added to a test tube which is attached to a ring stand. Later on the test tube will be closed with a stopper with a bent pipette which is hanging into a second test tube. The latter is cooled with an ice bath. Then 6.4 milliliters of sulfuric acid with a concentration of around 48% is added and the test tube is closed immediately. After a few seconds vapors of bromine begin to form. Then water is added to the ice bath to increase the transmission of heat. In the end the mixture is heated carefully and widespread with a heat gun to speed up the reaction. It has to be taken care that it doesn't boil too vigorously. The mixture of manganese dioxide and sulfuric acid oxidizes the bromide and bromine, manganese sulfate, sodium sulfate and water are formed. With this reaction iodine and chlorine could also be prepared from iodide or chloride salts. Bromine has a boiling point of 58.5 degrees C. When drops begin to form on the inside of the tube these can be driven up with a heat gun. Almost no bromine escapes the apparatus because bromine vapors are heavier than air. Even small amounts can easily be noticed by the strong odor. Some water is also distilled over which is why this bromine is not suitable for storage and should be used up directly. When the test tube has cooled down, the stopper can be removed quickly and the rest of the bromine is neutralized with a 5% sodium thiosulfate solution. The bromine still has to be cooled because otherwise it would evaporate slowly. In this reaction about 0.7 milliliters of bromine can be prepared, which is enough for all the well-known experiments. Bromine and mercury are the only elements which are liquid under normal conditions. In the air bromine evaporates within a few minutes and has its name from the Greek word bromos which it has gotten due to its strong odor that is similar to chlorine. Bromine vapors are heavier than air but can also be dispersed by a weak flow of air. This was the preparation of bromine on a small scale. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.